find the value of tan theta given that sin theta plus 45 degrees is equal to 3 cos theta plus 45 degrees. Solution. Very simple. So on the left hand side of the equation is a sine sum angle formula, isn't it? Then on the right hand side of the equation is a cosine sum angle formula. Are we together? So we have sine theta plus 45 degrees is equal to 3 cos theta plus 45 degrees. So on the left hand side is a sine sum angle formula, meaning sine theta plus 45 degrees is a sine theta cos 45 plus sine 45 cos theta, isn't it? If you have sine A plus B, that is sine A cos B plus sine B cos A. Then remember our A is theta, our B is 45 degrees, isn't it? Are we together? Then we move on the right hand side of the equation, we have 3, then A into cos theta plus beta. That is a cosine sum angle formula, isn't it? It is like cos A plus B, isn't it? So cos A plus B is what? It's cos A cos B. If A is positive, the other side is negative. Minus sin A sin B. Remember our A is theta, our B is 45 degrees, isn't it? Are we together? Isn't it? So you see we are using the sine sum angle formula and the cosine sum angle formula. Then we simplify. On this side we have sin theta cos 45 plus sin 45 cos theta is equal to 3 is a common function on the right hand side of the equation it multiplies everything inside the bracket, isn't it? So this side we have 3 cos cos theta cos 45 minus 3 times that 3 sin theta sin 45 degrees. Then we were told to find tan theta, isn't it? How do you get tan? You go back to elementary entities, isn't it? How do you get tan? Tan is synova. Synova cos. Synova. So it means for us to get tan, we must divide everything with cos, isn't it? For us to get tan, we must divide everything with cos. But how many cos do we have here? We have cos theta and cos 45 degrees, isn't it? So it means for us to get tan, we divide both sides of the equation with cos theta cos 45, isn't it? Are we together? So you divide it all through by cos theta cos 45. Cos theta cos 45. Because we are looking for tan theta, which is sin over cos. So we have to divide everything with cos. Then we have two cos here, cos 45 and cos theta, isn't it? So divide all through by cos theta cos 45 degrees. Cos theta cos 45 degrees. Cos theta cos 45 degrees. Then you simplify. Now you start. On the left hand side of the equation, what do you have? Cos theta cancels with cos theta. It means with sin theta over cos theta. What is sin theta over cos theta? Tan theta. Then you move again plus sec cos theta cancels with cos theta sin 45 over cos 45. That is tan 45 degrees, isn't it? It's equal to on the right hand side, cos theta cancels cos theta, cos 45 cancels cos, cos 45, you remain with 3. Then minus 3, then sin theta over cos theta is sin tan theta, isn't it? Then sin 45 over cos 45 is sin 45 degrees. Then you'll be told to find tan theta, meaning you make tan theta the subject of the formula, isn't it? So terms with tan theta you bring on the left hand side of the equation, isn't it? And it comes without tan theta goes on the other side of that equation. Are we together? So here we have tan theta, then that negative 3 tan theta tan 45 coming on this side of the equation, it becomes positive, isn't it? So plus 3 tan tan theta tan 45 degrees is equal to the other side, we remain with 3 positive tan 45. Going on the other side of the equation, it becomes negative tan 45. So for us to get tan theta, we factorize it out, isn't it? Because it is a common factor now, isn't it? So the coefficient here is 1, so if we factorize out tan theta, we have, here we'll remain with 1, isn't it? See you? 1 plus, if we remove tan theta here, we remain with 3 tan 45, isn't it? 3 tan 
3 times 45 degrees is equal to 3 minus times 45 degrees. Then what do you do? You divide both sides with the coefficient of tan theta to get tan theta, isn't it? So you divide both sides by 1 plus 3 tan tan 45. Divide both sides by 1 plus 3 tan 45 degrees. So that cancels out with that. We will remain with tan theta to be equal to 3 minus tan 45 degrees over 1 plus 3 tan 45 degrees. So we found tan theta to be 3 minus tan 45 degrees over 1 plus 3 tan 45 degrees. Then you see, tan 45 degrees is a special angle, isn't it? You can find it from right angled isosceles triangle. Isosceles means two sides are equal, isn't it? So right angle means one angle is 90 degrees. So if this side is equal to this side, then it means if this is one, this one is also one. My power of square and my coefficient is 6 root 2, isn't it? So if it's 90 degrees and this side is equal to this side, means this angle is also equal, 45, 45 degrees. So if you are getting tan 45 degrees is opposite of what I just said. So tan 45 degrees is this one, isn't it? Are you seeing that? So when there is tan 45 degrees, you put one. So we have tan theta is equal to 3 minus tan 45 degrees, which is 1, over 1 plus 3 tan 45 degrees, which is 1, isn't it? Are we together? Then you simplify. 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 plus 3 is 4. So it means tan theta is 2 over 4, which is the same as 1 over 2 or a half. So that is how to find tan theta. So you can see from everything we've learned, anything is possible, isn't it? Are you seeing that? Yes. So in that problem, you had the sine sum of the formula and the cosine sum of the formula. So all you need to do is to expand and find tan theta. 